Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is two kinds of reward and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verses 2 to 4. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your father, who sees in secret, will himself reward you openly. Our anchor scripture is one of the oft-cited Bible verses in the Bible, so today's episode is really just a call for self-reflection. The Bible tells us that it is possible to do good and righteous things, but only for the purpose of being seen by humans and to receive glory from them. It is my hope that you will listen to this episode alone by yourself and reflect truthfully on your motivation for doing the things that you do. Some people do good in order to position themselves in the future for political positions. Some people do good in order to be perceived as good. Some people do good like our scripture shows us in order to receive glory from human beings. Interestingly, the Bible says all these things are rewards. When you give and take your camera with you to show it off to the world, that recognition the world gives you is your reward. When you give just to be considered for political or social recognition, you may get it. And notice my choice of words, may, but that fleeting recognition is your reward. You may get glory and praises from human beings, and that is fine. But you must remember that humans shout Hosanna today and crucify him tomorrow. So you may want to check what kind of reward you are clamoring for. The Bible tells us of a second, more superior kind of reward that you can access when your motive for doing good is not to be seen by human beings. When you help people who can never repay you because it is the righteous thing to do. When your motivation for giving is right, the Bible says that God will reward you openly. I could do a whole series on what the reward of God entails, and maybe we'll get to that one of these days. But today, remember that the promise of a reward is as attractive as the resources at the disposal of the one promising. No one can know another person's motives. You alone know why you do what you do. So take out time today to search your heart. Are you addicted to the praises of people? Are you a human glory seeker? Do you do good to be seen and praised by human beings? What reward do you work towards? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we receive grace to seek glory and reward from you and you alone. We receive the grace to turn our eyes away from praise singing, fickle men, and to do right because we love you and not because we desire praises from people. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.